Hi, Jacob Kaluzny here, Instant Threat Modeling. Today we're modeling the threats applying to password reset process. All right, users tend to forget passwords and when they forget it, they need to reset it. Let's have a look at the example password reset process. We have a user who initiates the process and supplies their email address to the application. This is the post request to the slash reset endpoint. The system sends a reset link in an email to, the, to their mailbox. The user clicks the link with the token and the application verifies the token. The user is presented with the reset password form and they send a new password to the application. First, who are the attackers? Who are the threat actors? Well, this is easy because there are no roles assigned before the authentication. The only attacker is Anonymous, another user who wants to reset somebody's password. In the first step, there is a post request to the slash reset endpoint with just one parameter email address. Um, I can think of at least two payloads here. One is uh, enumeration. If the system responds differently for uh, an existing account and a non-existing account, I can take a public leak of 1 million addresses and try to supply it to the application and find out which ones are registered uh, in this application. The funny thing is that it may actually uh, result in locking some of those accounts um, if initiating the password process results in uh, immediate password change. The second payload would be an injection. Um, injecting some um, malicious input to the email address um, such as um, SMTP header injection may result in sending a copy of the um, reset password email with the, with the token to the attacker's mailbox. Now we've received the email with the reset password link, uh, the user clicks it. Now intercepting the traffic with uh, man in the middle scenario would be too generic for the reset password process, uh, so let's focus on the token itself. Weak randomness of the token. What happens if the attacker is able to guess the token value for a given user, then they are able to um, reset the password and take over the account. Some implementations include additional parameters in the reset password link, such as email address or user ID. Any excessive parameter um, in the link is an additional attack surface for access control issues. Uh, if the token is not bind to the particular user, uh, then an attacker may try to use a token generated for their own accounts against another user account. So we've got access control issues. We could also think about a token reuse. Um, if the token does not expire, um, the attacker may try to use the same token twice um, or use it after a very long time, like months. And I'll finish the brainstorm with a vulnerability that um, gives a lot of satisfaction, at least for me, uh, a business logic bypass. Very often the token is verified only in the second step when the user clicks the link, but not in the third step. So uh, just executing the uh, request to change the new password without any token here will allow to take over an account. And time for instant mitigations. No excessive output will solve the enumeration problems. We should also not change the account status before the user clicks the email. And then input validation for any kind of injection in the email field. Uh, no excessive input, the reset password link should contain only the token, no email addresses, no user IDs. Proper randomness, such as UID version 4 to prevent guessing the tokens. Uh, the activation rules, so um, expiration time, 1 hour, 24 hours, and it should not be used twice. And input validation, verifying the token in each step of the process, especially the last one. This was Instant Threat Modeling, feel free to contact me to discuss your case, thanks.